have today for you a very large, very huge book haul. So I'm not going to mess about, I'm just going to get into it. I have divided these books into second-hand books that I've bought and brand new books that I have bought. Um, but most of the brand new books I have bought, I've bought on special offers. So it might look a lot. I probably have spent a lot. I don't know why I'm trying to, to, to fluff it. Um, I've spent a lot of money on books recently. Um, it's just what it is. So anyway, let me go into, first of all, the second hand books that I have bought recently. So the first one I picked up is actually in a library binding. I don't know why, but it was in a charity shop. I swear I haven't finished this from my library. Um, I did find this in a charity shop just the other day, actually. And it is the Dream Snatcher by Abby Elphinstone. So it's like that. Um, and this is basically about a girl who wakes up one night in the middle of the forest, lured there by a recurring nightmare, the one with the drums and the rattles and the masks, the dream snatcher is waiting. So this is a middle grade book, um, very fantastical. I believe it's the first book in a trilogy. Not sure, but I think it is. Um, but yeah, I swear I did not pinch this from the library, but I did, but it is in a library binding, so... Yes, really happy to have that one. The next book I bought is Nevernight uh, by Jay Kristoff. Now, I believe that the third book in this trilogy is coming out either next month or the month after. So a lot of people are reading this or rereading this at this moment in time. Um, so I really got caught up with all that um, jazz and I wanted to read it and Jay Kristoff is very uh, present on Twitter and I see him a lot of times commenting on people's uh, Twitter posts about this book and people confusing it as a young adult and he like vehemently states this is not young adult this is adult it deals with some very dark and deeply upsetting um, uh, things and so I'm kind of a little bit worried about it because obviously dark things and 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 nasty things upset me but I'm told it's a really good story so I really want to read it um, and it's it's well loved so I really want to give it a try and plus as well apparently there's a lot of footnotes yeah I can see a lot of footnotes in this book and some of them are taking up half a page so it's going to be a bit of a different experience reading this book, but I'm intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued. So Nevernight by Jay Kristoff. Another book that I have been umming and ahhing about buying. I have seen this in Waterstones and I've been umming and ahhing about it because it was a beautiful book with uh, deep red maroon sprayed edges. But I wasn't sure if I really, really wanted to read it or not or whether I was enticed by the sprayed edges um but i saw it cheap on a second hand um bookstore online and that is uh children of blood and bone by tommy adeyemi i think so uh so it is a story like this i believe the second book is coming out very soon and the back of it just says they killed my mother they took our magic they tried to bury us now we rise so i do believe it's kind of like an african based fantasy which does intrigue me but the reason why i was um and ahhing about it was because i wasn't sure if the book was intriguing me because i saw a pretty copy of it in waterstones or whether it was a story that was intriguing me it's all right buying a book if you like the story but not it's not all right if you're buying a book just because it looks pretty she says having <laughs> Paid a lot of money for this book very much um, for that very reason because it was pretty um no seriously <laughs> this one doesn't have the sprayed edges that the waterstones one um had but it was relatively cheap like brand new this book is 7.99 but i got it for about two pound fifty i think on the second hand website so i thought you know what Instead of umming and ahhing about it, I'm just going to grab it. So I did. 
The next two books I got because I recently read a book written by this author and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So when I realised that the author had written a couple of other books along the same lines, I had to grab them. So these two are uh, two hardback edition copies of uh, Fairy Tale Retellings by Jackson Pierce. So um, I will speak about this one first. It is shiny. I'm so sorry. But my husband really loves this um, aesthetic here on the front. So this is Sweetly by Jackson Pierce, and it is the retelling of um, Hansel and Gretel. Had to think of it then. Hansel and Gretel. So you've got the witch's face here, and then you've got the little um, house there. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed the book that I recently read, which was Sisters Red, which was a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. So I had to get this one because I really did enjoy his writing. And then the other one, of course I had to get this one. This is Fathomless, again by Jackson Pierce. And of course, this is a Little Mermaid retelling. So I had to get this. Um, so yeah, um, really, really had to get these two and as well they were hardback copies so really going to enjoy reading those. The next book is a book that I picked up simply because I picked one of these up secondhand in a secondhand bookstore um, charity shop before, really enjoyed it and I think these are really good for just having a bit of a break from the longer books and it is um, James Patterson book shots called Private Royals. So these are like very short, um, like thriller stories. Um, so um, yeah, with Rhys Jones. So I believe Rhys Jones tells it, but it's James Patterson presents. So um, yeah, they're just short little thrillers that give you a little bit of, um, a little bit of a short story based on thrillers. I just said that twice. But yeah, these are really good, as I say, just as a bit of a break from the bigger, thicker books. Um, and yeah, really good for um, readathons as well, which I do plenty of. The next two books that I again got secondhand are my classics. And this one is Lorna Doon by R.D. Blackmore. And it is a Wordsworth Classics. So, um, yeah, it's in pretty good nick. So, obviously, it's probably never been read. Somebody's bought this thinking, I'm going to read this. And then they've never read it because this, even the spine isn't broken. So, somebody's had good intentions buying this, but then never got around to reading it. And then um, sent it to the charity shop having a clear out. Um... I've never read the story of Lorna Doon, don't know much about it, um, but Lorna Doon is a romance of Exmoor, a historical novel of high adventure set in southwest of England during the turbulent time of Monmouth's rebellion in 1685. A moving love story told through the life of young farmer John Ridd as he grows to manhood, determined to right the wrongs in his land and to win the heart and hand of the beautiful Lorna Doon. So, yes, it's a long book. Um over 500 pages so yes I'm really enjoying my classics recently I am so this is a new one for me to get my teeth into and the last book that I got from a charity shop recently is this hardback edition of Dracula by Bram Stoker this is by Wordsworth as well but it's it's a hardback edition so uh, yeah I um on the inside it's got the same print as is on the dust jacket so that's really good I like it when um, hardbacks do that sometimes um, it means that if I do damage the dust jacket I still have the the picture on the hardback cover anyway um, so yeah um, again I've only ever watched the films of about Dracula before I've never actually read the story so yeah this is a good addition to my classics shelf Okay, so on to the brand new books that I have bought. These have either been bought off Amazon, from Waterstones, or from other brand new books websites. 
uh, places like The Works, um, Books to Doors, um, I don't know where else I might have bought from. But all the places I buy from, I will list in the description box down below so you can have a look as well. So one of the books that I picked up because somebody was talking on Twitter about their favourite children's books um, that they remember from their childhood. And I happened to mention one particular book and my local Waterstones replied to my tweet and said, hey, we can get that in store for you. Would you like to pick it up? So I said, yeah. So it is Vlad the Drac by Anne Jungman or Jungman. Um, I remember listening to my teacher reading us this book in the middle of summer, sat outside under a big oak tree in the field out the back of my school. I used to go to school in a little village just outside of Bridlington here in, in um, north of England and it was a hot summer's day and the teacher said instead of us being stuck in the classroom let's go out to the field out the back sit under the tree and read a story and this is what she read to us it is a story about a vampire who hates blood in fact he faints when he sees blood so he's he's a vegetarian vampire how cute is that and so yeah it is only a short book um, but it's such a cute little book um, some of the illustrations in it is adorable it brings back childhood memories so I had to pick up a copy so there's that the next three books I picked up from Waterstones um, because I really like the look of them and I thought they would be really good reads over um, over sort of like um, Halloween time um, and they were these three books here they're all like really short so the first one is The Phantom of the Opera now I've seen um, I've seen a DVD I've got a DVD of the 20th anniversary stage show um, and I really love it I would love to go see this live at the theatre haven't been able to just yet but it is one of my dreams to go and see it live um so phantom of the opera by gaston larue so that is that the next one is the casebook of karnaki the ghost finder by w h hodgson i just love the color of this mustard and the final one is tales of unease by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So it is like that. Um, so yeah, the, all three books of these um, are really aesthetically pleasing. I just absolutely love the tone of these and the artwork. So yeah, got those. A book my husband recently picked up for me was this one. This is Forget My Name by J.S. Munro. This is a story about um, a young girl uh, who gets off a train after a difficult week at work. Her bag's been stolen, her identity has been stolen and when she tried to report the theft her mind went blank and she can't remember her name. However, she knows where she lives and she turns up to this house. Only problem is, two people already live there and they've never seen her before. And the question is, do they let her in? So, yes, a thriller. My husband has a really good knack of picking and choosing really good thrillers. So let's hope his streak continues. The next couple of books I picked up in Waterstones at the Metro Centre in Gateshead um, on a day out. Um, and I picked up this next book because of Gavin, he Gavin Heverington, who I love watching. I will link his channel for you down below. He works at the Metro Centre uh, Waterstones. And the day I went, he happened to be working in a different store but that's okay um i don't want to seem like a stalker but he has been raving about this book recently which is the land of raw by jenny mcclacken and it it's a middle grade book but it looks amazing um so it's got a dragon on the front there 
and then inside it pulls out like this look at that the artwork in this book and the same on the back you have the horse there and then it pulls out to that and it's just the artwork in here is beautiful and um yeah the story is basically um two twins when they were younger dreamed of this place or had an imaginary place called raw um but as they got older they sort of started to forget about this place but then something happens and they begin to wonder if raw is an actual real place so yes i'm really excited because i recently read a darkness of dragons by sa patrick and i absolutely love that if you haven't read it pick it up it's a bloody good read um it's also middle grade but it's so fun and so whimsical you have to read it so yeah the land of raw definitely can't wait to pick this one up a, another book that I picked up from the Waterstones is We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Fezal. Um, so it is this one and this is a beautiful, beautiful book. And this one is on the back. People lived because she killed. Safira is the hunter. Forced to disguise herself as a man, she braves the cursed forest to feed her people. People died because he lived. Nazir is the infamous prince of death, assassinating those foolish enough to defy his autocratic father, the Sultan. Both are legends in the kingdom of Arawia, Arawia, but neither wants to be. Both are embarking on a quest to return magic to their kingdom, but as their journey unfolds, an ancient evil begins to stir. So it looks really interesting and it is a new release, so really can't wait to uh, get to this one. Now, the next book I picked up, you're going to know why, because it's The Sea Witch. Uh, this is by Sarah Henning. And yeah, mermaid themed. Uh, so it says, before the story of The Little Mermaid, there were three friends, one magic, one royal and one already dead. So um, Evie has been wracked with guilt ever since her best friend Anna drowned. So when a girl appears on shore with an uncanny resemblance to Anna, Evie befriends her in an effort to make amends. But Evie's new friend has secrets and whilst Evie tries to do everything she can to help her, she discovers too late the truth of her bargain. So this is basically the sea witch's story before The Little Mermaid. So it's why, you know, it's Sarah Henning's idea of why Ursula is nasty and horrible and I love her um, so yeah had to get this one and the next book I got is a graphic novel everyone has been shouting about this on YouTube and I really wanted to like see what it was about and it is Heartstopper by um, Alice Oseman so there are two books um, Heartstopper 1 and Heartstopper 2 I've only got the first one um, and it is a gay um, graphic novel so gay relationship um, the artwork is pretty simple in there so yeah everybody has been loving this um, duology so they say it's kind of a cute romance and everybody's been loving it so I've been really enjoying my graphic novels recently, so I wanted to pick it up. Also as well, it was on the Waterstones buy one get one half price deal. So yes, nabbed it. Um, the next set of books I bought from uh, the Books to Doors website that I mentioned, I will link their information for you down below. They basically deal with children's books but they go from um like baby books up to sort of young adults young teenagers books so i did get these from there the first one i got is a box set and this is the school duggery pleasant box set books one to three by derek landy uh so there um there are more books in this series i think there's about 11 or 12 there's quite a few books in this series but this is just the first three um and school duggery pleasant is a detective sorcerer school duggery pleasant is a detective 
sorcerer, sorcerer, oh my god, get your teeth in, Nicola, warrior, oh yeah, and dead. So, yes, uh, these are going to be quite interesting, middle grade stories, a uh, little bit of detective work, always good to read something a bit different because I don't have many detective stories. So, um, yeah, it's going to be really interesting. So, got them. The next three books I got also came as a set. And would you believe I got all three of these books on the Books to Doors website for £1.49? Yeah, brand new. These are not second hand. All three books for £1.49. And it is these books. So, there are three of them here. And these are the My The Soul Screamers trilogy by Rachel Vincent. So I can't remember which order they go in, but we have um, My Soul to Take, My Soul to Save, and My Soul to Keep. So that's all three books there, £1.50. Um, and I believe these are based on um, Banshees. I believe she's a Banshee. Like Kaylee, Nash is a Banshee. So these are based on a Banshee character. So that's going to be different because normally we hear about vampires or werewolves. Um, but this is based on a Banshee. And I think of all my favourite creatures, I really like the idea of Banshees. Might have something to do with um, Phoebe from Charmed becoming a banshee one episode which I thought was amazing um but yes I do like a good banshee story so I have three there also from the same website I managed to pick up uh another set of three books and I believe these were 3 dollars I want to say either 3 dollars or four ninety nine, dollars something like that it wasn't expensive but there was three books here um, by the author David Levithan. Levithan. Um, so we have Every Day. We have um, How They Met and Other Stories. And then we have Two Boys Kissing. So these are all um, books written by the same author and they're all in these really bright colours which I thought would look really pretty on my contemporary shelves and I believe that um, obviously this one is a gay contemporary and I don't have many of those on my shelves um, and Every Day was apparently a really good like big story like a hyped story um, a few years ago everybody loved this one a while back and then um, how they met and other stories is lots of uh, short stories or a couple of short stories um, yeah quite a few short stories there's a whole list of them on that page so I don't have many like short story um, books so I thought I would pick that one up as well came in the set might as well um, a book that I had a little bit of trouble getting um, because I ordered it in at Waterstones but on the release date um, I contacted them and they said nope we haven't got any in and we don't know when they're coming in we're really sorry this is a national issue um, the publishers just haven't sent us them and I believe that other people were having the same problems so it wasn't just my store that was having the problem it was nationwide all of Waterstones uh, seem to be having the issue of getting this book in stock and that is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. This is a massive book at the moment on YouTube. Everybody wants to read this. This story is about um, the son of the American president and the Prince of Wales of UK. Um, they have a bit of a tumultuous relationship, they don't like each other, but um, PR says, no, that's not going to happen, that doesn't work for us, we need you to get on, and so they start pretending that they like each other, and then enemies to lovers trope 
happens in this book. Everybody says it's um, saucy and really um, quite a, a, a saucy romance. So I actually can't wait to read this. And because it was having such problems of actually getting my hands on this, I'm even more excited to read it now because like if you can't have something, you want it more, don't you? If you're anything like me. So yeah, Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. So. And the last few books um, are the books that actually prompted me to make this video because I got these books today and they are too beautiful not to show you. So I'm going to start off with a couple few that are not that great, but I still love them. So the first book I got is The Hound of the Baskervilles and the Valley of Fear by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This is a Wordsworth Classics again. I do like to collect these Wordsworth Classics editions. Um, they look really nice on my shelf. So this is the final story in the Sherlock Holmes series that Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote. I don't own any other Sherlock Holmes books, but... Um, I don't know I might pick some up who knows um, but I do remember um, an episode of the Sherlock Holmes TV series um, that was based on this story and I really enjoyed that episode so I thought I would pick up the book so yes quite interested the next two books have a similar sort of aesthetic so I bought these and they're again classics and uh, this one is Peter Pan and Peter Pan in Kensington Gardens by J.M. Barry and I absolutely love the aesthetics of this cover you've got pirate ships you've got the fairy you've got the skull and bones you've got an anchor you've got Peter Pan with his cutlass you've even got the crocodile on here and the hook um so you also have the hook there as well so i have that edition and then i picked up the wind in the willows by kenneth graham and you've got all your little frogs and your badgers and your little his little car i love his little car um so yeah i picked up that one as well everybody knows what wind in the willows and peter pan story is like and if you don't where have you been um the next three books these are the beautiful ones so i'm going to show you the spines first look at that look at them aren't they gorgeous looky 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 aren't they beautiful these are cloth bound classics from the works and these are ranging between four and six pounds some of them are on offer so they're down to four pounds but majority of them are six pounds um but look the works are always offering money off vouchers um for um for your basket so always look out for their vouchers it's always 20 percent off or 30 percent a um order so you can get some really good deals in there so i have three books let me put them down and show you them one at a time so the first one is this beautiful edition of alice in wonderland and um well alice's adventures in wonderland but it also has through the looking glass in here as well so it does have both stories so it does have through the looking glass as well um and the artwork in here is by the original um illustrator 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 john tenniel um and they're specially colored in by peter frith so you have these beautiful, beautiful illustrations in that are coloured and they're absolutely stunning. And I must admit my favourite is uh, from the Through the Looking Glass, the Jabberwocky poem. I absolutely adore the Jabberwocky poem. It is my favourite poem of all time so yeah and i never realized it was in through the looking glass and not alice's adventures in wonderland i got that completely like i thought it was in alice's adventures in wonderland but it's not so um yeah i actually cannot wait to read this 
and also it has dark grey sprayed edges so beautiful and to top it all off it has its own ribbon bookmark so yes super super happy with that one and it's a beautiful like fuchsia pink with blue detailing blue foiling so absolutely gorgeous and it's on the back as well how beautiful is that the next one is this green and gold one look at that and this is Aesop's Fables obviously written by Aesop whoever he was um, these by the way are the Bath Treasury of Children's Classics so down there and these this one's got orange sprayed edges um, Aesop's Fables are those little tales of morale so um, they have a moral to a story so you'll get a short little story and then it tells you on the bottom of the page the moral of that story um, and then there's a um, illustration alongside with it again it has its own ribbon uh, marker so yes beautiful beautiful stories um aesop's fables as i say they're short stories that have a moral to them so you know a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush that's an aesop's fables um look before you leap that's another aesop fable so these little sayings that we have they all come from aesop's fables so i needed to have this in my life it's just stunning and that artwork on the front is gorgeous orange sprayed edges and then of course i had to get this next one because it's hans christian anderson's fairy tales and this one is like a bright red with a blue um foiling and the artwork again and this one has like a green like teal um edges as well and again it has its own bookmark um which is an orange so i wonder if maybe that front isn't supposed to be orange then i can't tell whether it's orange it is an orange so it's orange and green so yes and of course i had to get hans christian anderson's fairy tales because it has the little mermaid in it let me find that for you I know it's at the back near somewhere uh, here we are what a surprise I found it so quickly so let me just find you the artwork for it so there we have some artwork from the Little Mermaid story um, and some more so of course I had to get this book because it's the Little Mermaid and i'm obsessed because the little mermaid is the best story in the whole wide world so yes and you can't argue with me on that one because i won't listen to you <laughs> simple as so yeah had to get that one because it's stunning it's gorgeous and it has my favorite story in it um hans christian anderson really um liked to write dark and um kind of sad stories as well they don't always end happily ever after that's what disney turned them into um but yeah so yes so i got that one and then the final thing that i got from the works isn't actually a reading book um it's actually something that is going to be quite helpful for me because I have had a story in my head for years and I really want to try and get it written down or start to write it at least. Um, I've written parts of it over the years but never actually physically sat down and thought right I'm going to do this now. Um, so this is a book it's called Right Now and it has over 90 creative prompts to motivate and inspire. So it's basically um, lots of um, like different exercises inside with some writing space available 
for you to follow prompts and write bits of story. Um, let me... <coughs> so here we have like the character creator page. So it tells you all the information about a character and then it asks you on the other page now it's time to write about them um, and they 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 say right this character is in this particular situation now you need to write what he does looking at the character um, creator how would he react in this certain situation it gives you space to write in so if you're a budding writer or a wannabe writer this little book would be awesome um, because it's going to get your creative juices flowing. It's going to get you thinking about your character arc, your, your um, different genres that you want to um, do. It also has space in here for if you want to do a graphic novel. So I'm not that great a, a drawer, so I probably will have a bit of a play with that, but I won't be great. We also have like a dialogue Kickstarter here. So it's just lots of like different little um, prompts for you to try your writing uh, creativeness into. And it's got plenty of space in there for you to write down all your ideas and stuff. So yeah, just something to help get my creative juices going so I can finally get sat down and start writing my own story. So yes, so I thought I wanted to include this because somebody out there might might know of someone who's quite creative and this might be a really good Christmas present it was only three pounds three pounds on the the works website again I'll leave the um, uh, information down below um, but yeah go check it out because I think this will be a great Christmas present for somebody who's creative um, or even for yourself if you feel like you have a story in you and you're wanting some help to get it out this is a great little book so yes for three quid not bad so that is it that is my huge book haul so many books it's a good job i've got two bookshelves now to put them on because i'm running out of space already but i'm not buying another bookcase so that is it that is my book haul i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye